Hi everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Casca and I like to make things. In today's video, I'll be making an 1890s walking skirt. Okay, so this is the fourth video in my series on making a Giga's Alien inspired 1890s walking suit. I'll link the previous videos in the description below. My original inspiration for this was wanting to join in with the historically accurate Disney costumes a lot of other costumers were making. I'm not the biggest Disney person though, so I had to think outside the box a bit. Disney owns the rights to the Alien franchise and my thinking is Alien equals Disney Princess. I'm thinking the skirt should be reasonably straightforward. I'll be using the same pattern I used for the petticoat, so in a way I've already made a mock-up. Materials wise, I knew I wanted to go for something blue, because blue features quite heavily in the lighting of the film. Originally, I found what I thought would be a good fabric from the images of it online. It was blue with a kind of goldy browny shift that appeared to match the colours on the Alien Queen figurine quite nicely. When I received it though, it was nothing like that. It was kind of weird and glittery. So if anybody can think of anything I can do with seven meters of this, do let me know. In the end, I went with a simple poly taffeta. It was inexpensive and I do like the dark blue with the subtle black shift that it has. Right, time to get started. Okay, so we have pattern pieces. The one thing with the petticoat was, I had it so it was gathered around the waist. So it was a bit bigger than my actual waistline, especially at the back. The back I'm not as worried about because that's going to be pleated up anyway, but I want the front to be a bit of a smoother finish. So I need to work out how much I need to take off the waistline of this pattern to make it fit better. The other thing is, I looked through the pattern book where I got the skirt pattern from and there isn't a waistband, so that's something I'm going to have to draft myself. I know from watching various YouTube videos from other people and looking at various patterns and stuff like that, that they tended to be more of a curved waistband, like back in those times, so I'm going to have to see what I can do. I'm also going to have to go on a search for a pocket pattern because there's no way I'm making this skirt without pockets. Pockets were a thing in Victorian times. Pockets should absolutely be a thing now. All skirts should have pockets, in my opinion. But the only pockets I've got a pattern for are like a modern pocket. So I'm going to have to see what I can find pattern-wise for something from this era. So, time to take some measurements, I think. I worked out how much I needed to reduce the waistline. I then folded over the excess so I could reuse the pattern at a later date. I also drafted a waistband. I cut out all my pattern pieces in my fashion fabric and lining. I then ironed everything to get the fold lines out. I decided to French seam all my edges apart from the back. This ended up being a bit of a mistake.
Things got a little bit complicated with the pockets, so I opted to sew them by hand. I stitched the two sides of the waistband together. This was then pressed and stitched along the top. I pleated up the back and then hand stitched it to the front of the waistband. This was then top stitched making sure to catch the back part of the waistband. The skirt was way too long, so I cut off about 8 inches. I then attached a layer of tarlatan to the lining layer. Finally, I used a strip of twill tape for the hem.
So, what do you think? I'm actually really, really happy with it. There's a few areas that could use some work. The waistband is a bit wrinkly and the hem isn't great. I also put one of the pockets in backwards so you can see the black lining material. Speaking of lining, that's not perfect. <laughs> But these are things that no one's going to see, they're mostly on the inside and especially when I've got the jacket done, no one's going to know. I'm surprised by how well this fabric worked considering it was super cheap. I thought it was going to look really cheap as well and it's a bit loud. But other than that I like it. The colour's good, it's blue but not blue blue unlike that other fabric that I got. Overall, this was a really fun exercise and I'm definitely going to have a go at making another one at some point. I learnt a lot of lessons with this, like not making things overly complicated. It ended up being really hard to put the pockets in because of some unnecessary French seams I did. Bit silly considering I was doing a lining. I do think putting the lining in was a good idea because I was able to attach the tarlatan layer to the lining instead of the fashion fabric and not having visible stitches there. I've also opted to scrap the bum pad. I feel like it's too big and it was making my silhouette look more 1880s. On a side note, you may have noticed that I fixed the shirt waist. <laughs> Those uneven seams were just staring at me on the mannequin and they needed to be sorted. <laughs> for my next video, I'll be making accessories for this and then the final part will be the jacket in about two weeks time. I've still got some stuff that I wanna iron out with that. I'm really looking forward to getting this project finished and showing you the final result. If you enjoyed this video and fancy giving it a like, it would be very much appreciated. I'm always open to your suggestions and constructive criticisms, so anything you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see more videos of me trying to make things, then why not subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.